Well, share prices opened lower and then kept tumbling to be down 1.6% in 10 minutes. But then traders decided the reaction to Omicron was a bit overdone and started buying, getting the index back to Friday's closing level before prices drifted again in the afternoon. So it finished half a percent lower. Just another day at the office in the end, really. The biggest falls included CSL, Banks and Woodside, while the iron ore miners all went up. Despite a 4.5% fall in the iron ore price, but the big fall on commodity markets was oil, down 13% as traders panicked about more lockdowns and another collapse in demand. Gold went up, but the biggest Omicron winners today were cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin up 6%, while Ethereum, Solana, Terra, Polkadot and Cardano all went up more than that. It was a bit of a mess on the share markets in New York and London on Friday, and there were pretty big falls around Asia today as well. Global airline stocks have been drifting for a while now and Omicron has taken them back to the first low point of the pandemic last year. And the other big impact of the new strain is in volatility. The VIX index jumped nearly 20% on Friday. The Australian dollar fell a bit more today. It got as low as 71.1 US cents and is currently 71.4. And to end on a more positive note, here's a 10-year chart of retail sales. Now, the long-term trend is 3% growth per year, twice the growth in population. And after the turmoil of the past 18 months, retail is still sitting well above trend. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there. And don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.